please welcome poet Harold Green III, reading an original work, Something to Live For. What's more dangerous, someone who's not afraid to die or one who's found everything to live for? I asked him if he was proud of me as he laid his pecan-colored head on my chest and he replied yes. And I went through my mind a thousand times to figure out what that could possibly mean and every single option ended in motivation for me. So you may not be afraid to die, but I'm more afraid to let him down. That's why I don't put this pen down. We sat down and traced out African kings and queens of past, adorned in crowns, absent of sound, his face absent of stress. I watched as that pencil press, that lead impressed and regressed, and reminded me of my own approach. Live and let learn, teach and be taught, take it all in. I may not remember it all, and I probably should have wrote it down, but this just gonna have to do for now. And he's taught me more than I could ever give him credit for, and probably more than I'll ever know. But one thing's for certain, I see his face when I step on stage, is when I put this pen down the page, is when I put these two feet down on pavement. This passion has real placement. You think I'm gonna let the world take that from me? When them two little boys sitting at home relying on me, he asks to hear my music. I remain calm, but inside I'm losing. He's not too cool for me. And I reciprocate that sentiment. I'd never be too cool for him. And he pee standing tall because he saw me do it. So that effect has been noted, but please let it be noted that I told my job they can dock my pay, but right now it's just way more important to take you to school every day. Just so you can walk through those doors with your chest poked out as you've allowed me to, I walk standing tall because of you. And these streets can't have you, I become way too selfish. I remove myself from so many situations, I become so selfless. And your grandparents taught me a lot of what I'm teaching you. And see, I was a man with a plan. You could hear it in my voice, but being a father is an honor, a duty, a choice, and I chose you. Nobody else. So if you fail, that's all on me. Nobody else, not even your wonderful mother, as amazing as she is, and that she is. But if you fail, it's all on me. And I remember when I talked to him on the phone for the first time, I was down in Texas performing, and I told him, I'm trying my best just to make you proud. And he probably had no clue what I was saying to him. But he replied, I love you. And I cried. I lived. You may not be afraid to die, but I found something to live for, and that's a dangerous motor forever fueled. Your actions, they may be involuntary, but these thoughts are very calculated. See, I was a man with a plan, now I'm a dad with a decree. You can't stop me. My son's not raised by no coward, and they won't be one either. If this be the measure of a man, the yardstick gonna need way more meters. I take it too far so they never come up short, and that's an extended metaphor. So I ask you again, what's more dangerous? Someone who's not afraid to die, or one who's found everything to live for? Uh, yeah.